Mahito must be stopped. He violated her. Now, spoilers for Jujutsu Kaisen, Shibuya, Arkansas stuff, but goddamn, there's a quick five minute video on why Mahi Goat needs to be stopped. Let's see what Made in Korea has to say. This man, Mahito, must be stopped, bro. He's violating. This is a public emergency. Someone stop this man. He's, He's on a rampage. All the ops, catching all the bodies right in front of Yuji. <sighs> like, I'm just starting to realize, like, this Shibuya incident arc. We're not gonna get a happy ending. That was never on the table. Like, it's called a fucking incident for a reason. And the incident is happening right now. Basically, I'm starting to believe everyone that Yuji loves is gonna die. No one around him is gonna be alive for when it's time for his death. Because how did this season start? Sorry. How did this series start with his grandpa dying? What did the grandpa tell Yuji? Hey, Yuji, you shouldn't be like me. You should be surrounded by the people you love when you die. He ain't gonna have anyone left at this point. I think Skuna will be there, though. Skuna will be there, and he'll be laughing at Yuji's death. Now, I'm really mad. Yuji has to get back for so many people, bro. Junpei? Yeah, he dead. <laughs> I forgot about Junpei. Yo, this arc of season one, it was so fucked. It, it truly was. Nanami? He Actually cry for this character. Very rare that I cry in anime. There's only specific moments. I did not cry in Bunny Senpai. I may have cried in Oshinoko. It's not an scene, man. God damn it, He's dude. dead. This man's the op hunter. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. 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 You this ain't catching shit. People running, and I thought it was a pacer test. But nah, these people don't want no smoke. But this man grabs a bunch of civilians. By the oh, this is the Mahito monkey shish go up scene. Watch, watch, watch. Their insides and Boom. look at Skewered. at this man. He don't know what just hit him. And this man Yuji's running around practicing his parkour like it's 2012. But Mahito Ow. throws some civilians like trash and cracks this man. <laughs> but how did Yuji not dodge that? There is no way Mahito's out here with that Babe Ruth home run power. How did nobody not dodge the fucking slap, bro? Like straight up, how, okay, we'll get to that later. How did nobody not dodge it? Dodge, we're talking about dodging. Be, like, Mike was running, nobody saw it. Yuji was like, move, nobody, no. Nobody's like, huh? It's like that fucking cat that just goes, huh? And then Mike just fucking clings back. It's like, how the fuck did that work, dude? Power throwing these people like some garbage. But this man, Yuji, was really interviewing them, bro. This man said, uh, are you okay? No, you idiot, that's a monkey. You're gonna get baited. Watch, watch, it's gonna blow up on his face now. Look at him. Do Dumbass. you honestly think you're fucking funny? Seriously. You're a fucking ugly little cunt, mate. And if I ever see you, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking face wide open, yeah? This man got turned to a damn raspberry, bruh. You think he okay? He got turned to a blueberry. You think he good right now? Do I think he said raspberry just before, but he corrected himself. Who really popped like my left nut after my 30-day <laughs> edging streak, bro? This is Why only your left nut? What about your right nut? Crazy. But at the same time, we see Mahito is fighting Obara. This mm. man has shadow clones, bruh. But she's really putting in some work, okay? She's doing like some light work dodging this man. Then she appears on top of a building. This move was really cool. She did this crazy AoE attack. You know, Nobara like got that thing. And she, she she's like able to damage the soul. So she's like a natural counter. Another natural counter that shouldn't have existed. But it does. So you're telling me there's two fucking natural counters. This... And Maito currently is kind of nerfed too because he's split into two. This one can't even fucking touch the hand. But technically, that's the whole point. The misdirection of like nobody not realizing, oh, there's two of them. But right now, this guy, you know, touches me and like I, I can't, you know, get hit right now. So, or like I exploded, so it should be fine. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, Resonance in episode 24, right? They kind of tease that. But it's like, damn, even with that natural fucking counter, doesn't matter. You know why? Because he touches, he touches you once and you're dead. And how many attacks? Has Yuji done? We just see Yuji just fucking, just like 10,000 fucking fists to the face. No fucking seeming damage to Maito. He's finally, he's just fine. But if one dude, if Maito gets one fucking touch, he touches you for a second, you're done. How is that fair? It's not fucking fair. Sniping at this man, but I ain't it's gonna bullshit. lie, bro. Both these dudes aim is garbage. True. It's some trash. They're not hitting nothing. I mean, this dude's dodging all her hits point blank and turns himself into spider monkey, then vanished. Now I'm playing. Bro's right behind her. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. He cut the shit out her, bro. Dude must not. Would have been dead right there, actually, if, if that was a grace there. Know who I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to inform him that I am him. The big Billy runner. And that's my girlfriend, bro. I'm gonna personally slide for this, bro. Because there's no way he's gonna disrespect my wife like this. She 
Oh, he truly likes Nobara, huh? I didn't have an emotional connection to Nobara. I'm like, whatever, right? I mean, she's a starting three. She's a strong, independent girl. I get that Jujutsu Kaisen has a lot of strong, independent female roles. Like, great for them. But it's like, Nobara's, like, design never really appealed to me. Like, the hammer and nail, it's very unique. Don't get me wrong. The hammer and nail, the way that she uses her powers, it's very unique. But it's like, it wasn't, like, super cool to me, for like, to be honest. She's really powering up. And this dude just emoting, bro. He said, huh? Yeah, he said, this is such a break in the fourth wall moment. I forget exactly what they said, but it was like a comical moment where I said something and then Maito was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's mad disrespectful. She had no choice but to have this beautiful cinematography hitting this man. This is great. With all these nails. Yeah. Jumping on top of him, putting a nail in his head and cracking that shit. Her At this point, I was like, holy shit. Nobody's actually gonna win. She's gonna do this it. This man so bad, his clone felt it. She hit this man so bad, his soul felt it. It damaged his soul. That's crazy. Why are you telling me kites in that right now? No, Bara is the best girl. I don't care what you say. She's better than Maki. <laughs> Yuji is not letting that slide though. Better than Maki. Now, which is very interesting because both girl characters right now are kind of like unknown status, right? I heard the author straight up said, Nobara? Unknown. She's not dead, according to the author. Straight up unknown status. Where did she get tapped? The side of the face. Did her entire head blow up? No. Her eye socket blew up. You saw the eyeball pop out. But the head is still intact. There is... <laughs> now, this might be insane levels of cope. There's a possibility. Nobody comes back from this with an eye patch. And now, Maki also. She should be all burnt up like how Nanami was, right? Because Joe Goat... It's fucking one tapped everybody, right? Who the gi who gives a shit about fucking Zenin Clan head? He's probably dead already. But Maki might also come back with like a new design, bro. This could be kind of crazy. Like both Nobara and Maki, if they come back with like an eye pass, new designs, like we got some girl boss shit going on. Maybe this man blitzes this man and then keeps the combo coming. He been waiting Look his at this whole shit. life for this moment. Just a violent Look at Maki this show. shit. How many hits are we landing on him? But it doesn't matter. None of these hits fucking matter. But if Maito got one of these hits on you, you're dead. How is this fucking fair? It's not. It's so unfair. It doesn't matter if Yuji lands 10,000 hits. None of this shit seemingly does anything, even though we're like a natural counter to him. Fucking doesn't matter. He just touches you once. You're dead. And me personally, Bullshit. I'm loving it, all right? He didn't even give him time to respond. He didn't give him time to think about his actions, bro. But none of this shit matters. That's the thing. Like, this choreography, it's really cool. I love the fight scenes. How many hits are we actually getting in? How many of them count? None of it fucking counts. He's really clapping Look this at man. This shit. Yuji finally gets back for his dead homies, bro. He's finally <laughs> cooking for once. I know this is a <laughs> show me Tom Brady for good it. moment, but I must say, why didn't bro do this earlier, bro? Like, he should have been throwing them hands like this, all right? He was definitely putting in work last time, but like, not like this. This is different. Doobly slides across the whole map like a demon just to blitz this man. A two-handed punch? Do a two-handed punch? Maito is literally bleeding out of his mouth, his ears, his nose. That was a two-handed punch. That's some fucking gomu gomu no fucking bazooka shit going on. But does not matter? No, it doesn't. Uh, you know he felt that. And Yuji is still on this man, delivering a fat whooping, bruh. A crazy combo. I can't lie, it's bad for this man. Just end him. Just end him at this point. Why, why even show me this? To get my fucking hopes up. That's what they're doing. I gotta change the title. I thought it was gonna be Mahito violates Yuji. But nah, Yuji violated Mahito, man. This is bad. Dude started running from Nobara. That's how bad it got for this man? This man's in financial fade debt. He's down terrible. Shouldn't at have this chased point, her. Bro, Mahito is a track star. We gotta start calling him the track star, bro. All this man does is run. I can't name a fight he was in that he didn't run from. Dude was so desperate to dodge a punch, he turned to six little gremlin niggas, bruh. And it didn't help him, cause Yuji caught this man slipping. But it turns out- But it was a fake one! Dude was not running. He was linking with himself? This fucking- See, when I saw this part, in my head, I was like, oh, wait. Both Maito's about to, you know, fuse together. And then it's gonna turn into main Maito. Maybe we're gonna get a cool 2v1 scene. Maybe nobody's gonna come back with, you know, Yuji, and we're gonna do cool black flashes together consecutively, just like we did in season one finale. Nah. The moment they passed each other, my brain was like, she doesn't know. Oh my fucking god. That's why they were intentionally telling us that, you know, the double isn't able to do the Mui Tempen thing, where it's like, you know, explode your soul. Nah. And at that point, I was like, 
Holy shit. They're gonna kill her. They're gonna kill another fucking main character. No shot. How do you link up with yourself? Dude hit that WWE. That tattoo. scene right here. At this point, I was like, my heart sick. I was like, it's over. It's fucking Jover. Switched off with the bro and grabbed no bar by her face. Look at this. How could you just stand there? WWE tag look. Team. Look. Off. You have so much time. With the bro and grabbed. You have so much time. What is she doing? What no. is she doing? What are you doing standing there? By her what are you doing? She fucking deserves this, honestly. Look at this shit. Nice. Dumbass. Actual dumbass. Like, I guess she was shocked. It's like, what? Two of them? Yuji, what are you doing here? Like, you don't have fucking time for that? Bro, you get tapped once, you're dead. Yeah, she was shocked. I mean, it makes sense, but like, come on, man. Come on. Yuji took that shit personally. This man punched this man. This punch. But look, that punch fucking doesn't matter. None of these punches fucking matter. But his taps, my uh, taps, the way he touches you, that shit does matter. Why here, this punch is different. This is what you do when someone eats your leftovers. This, that punch, when you catch your... Wings of Redemption just took a straight bullet out of nowhere. Your little cousin touching your PC. This the punch your dad gives you after you didn't hold the flashlight straight for six hours. I got one last look at my queen. <sighs> you know what? At, at, at least she like, she, I th what did she say? Life ain't so bad, is it? Right? I think she says something like that. And she has a very like determined look on her face. At least she went out with like, <laughs> she went out with a bang again. She did go out with a bang, but like, she, at, at least she didn't like cry here or she was like, life was not so bad yet. At least she didn't like have like a, a, a look of despair or like sadness or like, oh my God, I'm about to die right now or like crying. At least she went out like a boss girl. Hey, at least she did that. Queen. Damn it. I can't believe it, bro. Watch, 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 watch. Look, look at the hand placement. This is the hand placement, not her entire face. And look, Damn. and I think, I think. Um, I, I think Maito also made the comments about how he wasn't able to kill someone with one tap before. Was it Nanami before? I forget. But he made a specific comment about, oh, before I wasn't able to kill with, with one hand palm, right? But this time it should be different or something. But I think that plays into this more. That combined with the fact that nobody's eyeball... I mean, look, I look, look, look. can't believe it, bro. Boom, eyeball comes out, but it's not her entire head. If her entire head fucking exploded, I would agree. That's right, 7-3 sorcery. It might have made that clear comment about this. The one hand, it could, it might not be lethal. Now her eyeball comes out, but that's not her entire head. If her head it was, if her head was actually crushed here, I would believe, yeah, she dead. But the fact that you know Shoko's around, reverse fucking curse technique, healing bullshit, there is a chance. Hey, believe it, bro. There is a chance. She's might, she might not be dead. And the fact that the author intentionally stated the status of the character right now is unknown. That's pretty much telling us she could come back. She could straight up come back. Nobody might not be dead. It hates all the good characters, bro. I'm tired of this, bro. I'm tired of this, bro. Maito was an idiot. He could have grabbed her whole head. Strazor, <laughs> you really want no one to die, huh? <laughs> bro. <laughs> we're like, we're like trying to do some next level analysis to fucking have some cope on why nobody might not be dead. It's like, nah, should have fucking two handed that bitch. Why do we keep having good characters if you're gonna kill them, bruh? I think these deaths are impactful. Some shows, like, there are, like, I'm not sure if you guys have seen Game of Thrones, but there's this thing called the Red Wedding, where it's kind of like this. Because, like, the show starts off, and it, it, it's like, there are not many character deaths, right? I mean, there, are, there definitely are some important character deaths, but it's not a massacre just yet. But it's like, it, everything's building up, and then this one arc happens, shitload of people die and at that point people are like oh like your favorite character can die at any fucking moment shit can just go die and at that point what happens is now you are like on the edge compared to other shonen shows where people might not die as much and even if they die there might not be consequences they might they, they could there might be some resurrection there, there could be some mechanics where the character is dead it gets reversed it's not that big of a deal right but but in shows like this when they actually do cold death like this to main characters, like really important characters they've built up through an entire season, they built these characters up. And now I'm realizing they only built it up so that they could all be dead in season two for Yuji to just like fall to despair. This show is now just about Yuji just experiencing just like sadness, sorrow, depression, just like absolute, just like he's, he's, he's at the rock bottom right now. And like, it's going to continue. I don't think this is the end of the death. I think we're just getting fucking started. And you know what? 
Some people might be very upset about these deaths. I personally think it's pretty good. Nanami going out fucking sucks. It does. But the fact that I could feel some emotions like that watching a character death, that means that I enjoyed this show. These are meaningful character deaths. There are consequences here. And I do love it when a show will execute characters like that. And they're like, nope, they're done. They might not, they're, they're not coming back. Nobody might actually come back for Nanami. He's done. And it's like, that makes you feel like, damn, my favorite character could die at any moment. It makes the show more worth watching. It feels like there's more stakes on the line. Yeah, that's the better term. You feel like there's more stakes on the line so that like you get more like invested into the show. What's the point? Me and her really had a future. You know what? If Mahito does not get packed up, I'm dropping the show. I'm done. I'm taking all this personally. I'm gone, bro. That's it. And we get this long scene of her dead on the floor. Yuji, what are you doing? Lock. He's just shocked. He's like, Cookie Saki. And the episode ends. In. Get back for her, bro. This man never spins. That was a pretty, that's a f pretty funny video from Made in Korea. Go like this video and sub to the channel if you enjoyed it. But like, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen, the author, also stated that Jujutsu Kaisen is not supposed to have a happy story, happy ending. And yeah, I, I'm starting to just realize that now. And if we're going to continue with the scene, right? <laughs> Holy shit, there's another video here called Mike to Violet Anatomy. Maybe we'll watch this. But if we're going to continue with this theme, think about what characters are close to Yuji that could die. Megumi? I don't think Megumi is going to die just yet, right? In this arc, I'm not so convinced. To be honest, I think Megumi will last for, for a while because he's important in terms of plot device for Skuna. Skuna's plan requires Megumi. I don't know why. Therefore, I think Megumi will survive at least a little bit longer. Consider other characters that's close to Yuji, though, that could die, though. Panda, I don't think that's really close. Maki, who knows what's happening. But you know who I'm fucking scared for? Toto Aoi. They invested an entire fucking arc towards that guy. He is our brother, our best friend though, bro. Gojo, yeah, he's too strong. Maybe in the future, but like Toto, like I'm kind of worried. He's not in this arc right now, but if he shows up in this arc, like bro, I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know.